Hi, I'm Ashley, and as a mom of three, I can tell you there is nothing quite as magical as experiencing the Walt Disney World Resort with your little one for the first time during the holiday season. Hi, and I'm Greg, and I'm a girl dad of two young daughters, and we love to visit the Walt Disney World Resort during the holiday season. As planned Disney panelists, Greg and I help families plan their first holiday visit with little ones every week. But today, we're here with our top tips and suggestions for you. Let's start with Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I will never forget taking my little ones to this special event for the first time. We made so many precious memories together as a family. And let's not forget about the snow on Main Street, USA. Is there anything more magical than that? I still remember my little one sticking her tongue out and catching that snowflake. It was the coolest thing ever. We especially loved Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. Preschoolers will just beam as they see their favorite Disney characters passing by, dressed in their holiday best, of course. My little one squealed when she saw Anna and Elsa pass oh, by way. on their wintertime sled. It was so cute. Yes. And if your preschooler can stay up late enough, try to squeeze a nap in earlier in the day. Find a spot on Main Street USA for Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show. It is so much fun. Preschoolers will love seeing Cinderella Castle lit up with projections and fireworks. I couldn't help but get teary-eyed during the finale. At the end of the show, they play When We're Together from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. And when they said the lyric, when we're together, I have everything on my list. And I looked at my preschooler's face and it was lit up with joy. I did the same thing. I was holding my daughter in my arms and it was a magical time. Yes, tears were just streaming yeah. down my face. My family loves to take part in the scavenger hunts all around the Walt Disney World Resort, but there's no better ones than the seasonal offerings at Epcot. Now this year is Olaf's Holiday Tradition Expedition Scavenger Hunt, and it's a really fun one. So you pick up a passport with the stickers and you walk around the World Showcase to each pavilion finding Olaf's traditions that he's left behind and some that he may have even lost. Uh, once you finish, you can return it to receive a prize at the end. So fun. I know my preschooler would love doing that this holiday season. And speaking of Epcot, I love taking my little ones to the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. There's lots of preschool activities like storytelling through World Showcase and my personal favorite, Candlelight Processional. Yes, Candlelight Processional is amazing. One of my favorite parks during the holidays is Disney's Hollywood Studios. There is no better place to take your little ones for the first time. Seeing the classic Santas, the festive decor throughout the entire park, and the holiday music that chimes in, they are going to absolutely love this. And everyone needs to eat, so be sure to book a dining reservation for Minnie's Holiday Dine at Hollywood and Vine. Some of my family's favorite memories from our Disney vacations involve character dining experiences. I love these meals because my kids can fill their bellies and visit with their favorite Disney characters all in one place. At Minnie's Holiday Dine, Minnie and her pals are dressed in their festive holiday costumes and they're giving little ones lots of holly jolly hugs. Yeah, no, it's really cool. And I know we talked about Olaf earlier, but I wanted to mention the Frozen sing-along celebration show. He shows up at the end with Anna and Elsa, and my daughters absolutely lost it. They thought it was so cool. Now let's not forget about Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park and all the holiday festivities going on there for your little ones and their first time. Now the Merry Menagerie, which is actually life-size sculpted animal puppets that your little ones can find their favorite animals. It's really cool. There's also the Tree of Life Awakenings, the holiday edition. That is not to be missed. Yes, I love that. And it rotates with Beacons of Magic for the Walt Disney World Resort 50th celebration. Oh, and let's not forget, this is the last time to celebrate a holiday during the 50th celebration. Now, I think we covered everything with the theme parks, but let's talk about the Disney Resort hotels. Yes, absolutely. At the Disney Resort hotels, there's decor, specialty treats, gingerbread houses. There's so much to check out with your little ones. Which one is your favorite? Disney's Wilderness Lodge is my favorite. First time we went there with my little ones and we got to see the tree and cozy up next to the fireplace with a cup of warm hot cocoa. It was amazing. That's so incredible. If you're at the Walt Disney World Resort during the holiday season with your little one for the first time, be sure to stop by Disney Springs. Preschoolers will love the Christmas tree stroll, the lights, the decorations, the snow falling all around them. No, I know. My daughters had the best time looking for their favorite characters on some of the trees that are set up. It was really cool. Now, as you can see, there's a ton to do at the Walt Disney World Resort during the holidays with your little ones. I highly recommend making a visit here soon. If you have any other holiday Disney vacation planning questions, stop by PlanDisney.com. We're happy to answer all your Disney vacation planning questions. Happy holidays.